Okay, we're gonna, or I'm going to rather, talk a little bit more about um, uh, short range squad radio or, or ISR, inter squad radio, um, low probability of intercept. Radio. Oops. Radio check. One, two, three, four, five. Radio check. That'd help if these were all on the same channel. Turn the 49 megahertz radios off. So right here we've got a um, this, this is a 16 channel UHF HT. Um, this is the uh, uh, LT 458. It's pretty much a BF 888s in a different case. Um, it's got the smiling antenna, uh, stubby UHF duck on here, uh, 460 megahertz. Hello, hello, one, two, one, two. Audio, check, 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 one, two, one, two. It's just a 16 channel radio. It's very straightforward um, to use, which is why I like this. The, um, <clears throat> these things kind of fit kind of in a, a little bit of a gray area between, you know, very short range. I mean, we're talking about like a uh, personal roll radio or a 49 megahertz radio and um, a, uh, a longer range radio like, you know, your... Your bow thing. So, um, I just want to talk about using both of these types of radios. So, yeah, your bow thing can do both um you know especially at low power but the nice thing about having uh basically these things are cheap they're easy to program you can use chirp um you can buy them for you know 23 bucks each and then i i strongly recommend getting the shorter antenna for a couple reasons one it makes it easier to handle um especially if you've got it up on your vest um, on your lapel, uh, and it's going to, you don't want, you know, the most range you can possibly get out of these things. They're programmed on low power. Um, basically, you know, you get one that's tuned for 460 megahertz, 465 megahertz, and you stay in the business band, um, business bands, excuse me, uh, between 450 and 470. And uh, there's some additional resources that I can provide on that. But um, low power, these things are pretty much uh, same deal. They're, they're LPI. They're low probability of intercept. They're extremely easy to use. And basically what you do is you program in 16 channels. And, um, and then you just kind of pick one of the channels. And I, I, what I recommend doing is doing full tone squelch and um, you know not using the FRS channels and uh, that hello 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 one two one two let's turn the volume up hello one two audio that sucks because the volume is so loud audio check one two Audio check one two one two. Check one one zero. Um. Whoopsies. So I just did the AR one fifty two antenna there for fun because it's tactical as hell. Hello, hello one two one two. Obviously, it's backward compatible with your uh, UV five R and your UV eighty two and whatnot. Um. The, uh, anyway, you, um, you know, basically use these as an actual, uh, intra-squad, intra-squad, uh, radio. And so what that does is it, 
um, <clears throat> it kind of uh, gives you a side channel. So it keeps this radio clear. <laughs> Sorry about the beeping and the horn and the alarms. Um, and and kind of, you know, your, your, a lot of your chatter is going to be uh, intro squad and it's going to reduce the chances of uh, intercept or somebody noticing if you're using extremely low power radios. So this on low power with the stubby antenna or 49 megahertz. Um, the cool thing about 49 megahertz, not this equipment in particular, but... Hello, hello, one, two, three, four, five, hello. Um, is it's got, uh, you know, it's uh, integrated with headsets and it's uh, voice activated. So. So it it kind of fulfills what the I think it's called PRR personal real radio um, in that it's a headset and uh, it's voice activated. You know there there is a PTT switch. Most of them do have a PTT switch. So you can do it that way. Hello, hello, one two one two, and uh, uses nice uh, nice loud uh, five kilohertz FM deviation audio audio. Five channels, standard. Uh, the range on these things is extremely short, which is what you want. We're talking, you know, a few hundred feet in urban areas, um, maybe the uh, double or triple that, depending on your, your location. But that's the idea. Um, the shorter range, I mean, what's the likelihood that you're going to be talking to somebody? Two miles away uh, <clears throat> with you know your your short range radio is pretty low that's what your longer range uh, either VHF or low band or 11 meters um, that's what that equipment is is kind of ideal for and, and you know that's that would be that equipment so there's basically three kind of families of radios, your longer range, your standard radio, and your uh, your short range or low probability of intercept radio. So, a nice shot there of all this mess. All right, it's just a quick video. Sorry, everyone's got the sniffles, everyone's sick, myself included. Thank you for watching.